Well, whatever happens to me, it's not like I didn't tell you, didn't try to tell you guys. You know? <clears throat> My mom's gonna ride me until I'm dead. And then maybe eat me like a horse. <coughs> it's a dog eat dog world, huh? Right, mommy? It's not like I haven't been trying to get help with her. She's got her hooks in my brain, you know. She can, she can control me and shit. Wouldn't be the. It's not. She's not the only one that's done it. But she gets the reactions she wants. I'm probably going to die miserable because of her. And and it's not like I haven't tried to tell you guys. You know, somebody. I tried to tell everybody. I had guys. beef made for supper. Oh, yeah. Go away. Okay. I don't you come at me when you say, oh, I'm hungry. Yeah. Well, you got all the food I, I and it's you. yours. It's your food. You control it. Okay. See the family here. Okay. Don't don't get any ideas. Okay. You made sure I of that. Said okay enough. You made sure of that. No, you? No, mine. Remember, you say that all the time. My food. My food. You yeah, lock the pantry I when I'm a mine teenager. Up all at once. You eat the. You lock the fucking pantry because I'm a fucking teenager. Who eats too much. You say. And you still do. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's one eat. of my few consolations, believe it or not. You can't eat three or four cookies. You gotta eat the whole fucking bag. No, I need yeah. you to get away from me. You fucking piece of shit. Whole fucking bag. Yeah, give me a fucking break, you stupid whore. Shut up! Uh-huh. Get it. Stop fucking with me. I hurt my back and she keeps okay. telling me I didn't hurt my back. She keeps saying, uh, I'm faking. And then she won't get off my back. You know why she says I'm faking? So she can keep fucking riding me. Like a fucking animal. There is no reward great enough for what I've been through. You know, I was, I was listening to the TV. Life's greatest reward. Some love boat shit, you know, from the whatever, 70s, 80s, whatever. And I'm like, fuck you. Fuck you. You know? You know, it'd be great if I wasn't disabled and I could help myself. Right, God? You wanna let me help myself? Get rid of her! But he ain't gonna. Never will. She's gonna ride me till I'm dead. Because I don't see me out living her anymore. I think she's got this all planned out. She does. There's a plan at work here. Okay? It involves her. It involves human resources. Because they're down with their plan. You know, keep... Make, keep Draining the fuck out of me. As long as everybody gets what they want. And you act like it's not real, probably. You say, oh, that's not real. You ever been drained? 
you want to be Dre? You you want you want to live with my mom and she can she can be she can turn you into a man and be a man eater, evil woman. You ever hear those songs? The reason they ha they sing them is because it's a thing. They don't just make up everything, you know. Boop! He's making noises now. At the right moment, you notice? To, to kind of deflect what I'm saying, you know? To not let it impact as fully as it would normally. To not let it sink in. To, uh... She always does. She always makes the noise at, at the end of my points. At the end of... Whether she can hear me or not, she always does it. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't get the timing of it. I don't get it. And she only makes the noises when we're arguing. When I'm saying something. Even in my head sometimes. When I'm not saying it out loud. As if, uh, yeah, who knows, right? What do you think? Why do you think it keeps happening that way? I hate you all, dude. I, nobody's stopping her. Nobody. Not even God himself. And stop that wrathful, raging fucking whore. I just want her gone. Nothing I can do about it because I don't want to hurt myself. Legally. Or in any other way. Hurting her would only, you know, make me like her, you know. Taking advantage of my strength over her. Or she takes advantage advantage of the situation. She's not a good woman. She's not even a mother. She's like, I'm a good mother. I had babies. I don't need to raise them. They're there. They're there for me. They're mine. She's a very big mine. She's a possessor. Mine. She possesses me. She possesses anything she can get her fucking dirty fucking filthy hands on. Possessing. She says the movie Exorcist really scared her when she was a kid. I guess it's scary, but uh, I think there's a reason in her case. She don't like people being free of her evil possession. Maybe. Who knows? Seems like it. I don't like her. I don't like her at all, because I'm paying for everything. Is that funny, Mom? Is that funny? Was that a laugh? She's always making noises at the, at the precise fucking moment. And it's not just the camera she has watching me. 
It's when she's outside not watching the cameras, when she's in the kitchen where she's not, there is no camera, and I'm in the, I'm in the living room, and I'm thinking something important, and I make a point, which is, is entirely right, and pointing out that she is doing something wrong, and she'll make some noise like, I don't care, I don't care. You know, ju ju it happens so often. It's like, how? Are you really possessing me? I mean, what the fuck is going on? I want you out. You know? I want my brain to be whole again. I want it to be one again. One mind. It's the only piece I'm going to get. It's like she's living in it. Made a nice comfy space for herself in my fucking brain. I want her out. I want everybody out. If you, if you can imagine what I'm trying to say here. You, you know what? They'd probably, they'd probably say, hey, this video makes them look crazy. We can uh, maybe use that. Who knows? You know, considering everything that's going on and everyone that's going along with it, enabling her, you know, allowing her and enabling, enabling her by doing so. Who's paying for it though, right? Are you paying for it? No, you're probably reaping the benefits of my suffering. Reaping the benefits of my failure. Of being disabled by whatever this is. You know, do I sound paranoid? Hmm? You know what paranoid means? Para means next to or beside. Noid means witches or wizards. Those are the root words. Beside witches and wizards. Okay, just, I don't know if you know that. So, yeah, maybe I am paranoid, huh? maybe, in, in that sense. Maybe. I never know anything. I'm always in the dark. I'm always in the dark on everything. Nobody tells me anything. I am not in any loops. Loops. You know? Nobody's keeping me clued in. I'm not connected. My mom, she seems very connected. But he has a nice witching circle. You know? Her family. They're probably all witches. I grew up with them, all women, men eaters probably. They're probably like, num, 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 Alan Tate's good. Alan Tate's good. You ever see that movie, uh, Howl's Moving Castle? The, the, the witch, the big fat witch. She's like, oh, heart of the youthful. It's, mm, he's so good, you know? She's like, it's so, so delicious. It's nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Young heart or something like that. It's probably something like that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a food source for her. I'm an energy source. It's probably what it is. She ain't going to let me go. She's got her hooks in deep. Human resources has to know it by now. They probably do the shit, see the shit all the time. They probably do it. For all I know, they are part of the government. But I'm gonna shut it down here because it's 15 minutes. All right, bye-bye.